Good morning, kids. It is Wednesday. It is 4.30 a.m., but I'm going to still count as Tuesday because I haven't gone to bed since Monday. I'm going to put Monday morning at 7.30. I've been running ever since. So. Mm. I'm exhausted. I'm, just, I'm completely drained. Finals are ridiculously draining. My social life is ridiculously draining. I just want to come home and land, but with you guys. Which kind of sounds like a cop-out to me, but I miss you. <laughs> I just want to lay in bed next to people who know me. I really want that. Um, I had my chem final on Monday, and it made me feel like a moron. Then I had my... Um, trig final yesterday. I think it went okay. I knew some of the, I knew most of the stuff. For sure. I'm just so, so, so tired. And I'm so ready to just put my stuff in my bin and go home. I miss you so much. I just... I am going to talk about something today, though. We're going to talk about mistakes. I'm occasionally making a mistake. And how... How it affects your life, okay? Okay, so Friday night... I, um... Let me rewind a little bit. I am... Currently taking Lexapro for generalized anxiety disorder. Um, Dr. Romero, the psychiatrist on staff here, diagnosed me about a month ago, and I've been taking Lexapro ever since. Lexapro is an SSRI, which stands for Standard Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor, which allows for me to get the right amount of serotonin, so I don't feel like um, like a jack in the box that just can't quite pop out of its little jack in the box box thing. That's a bad metaphor. So I'm on Lexapro. Um, so Saturday night, I went and hung out with a couple of my friends, oh. and uh, with the Lexapro I added whiskey, and normally, I, I, you know, I can drink and take points. I'm at work. I can normally drink and take Lexapro and not have a problem. Um... <laughs> So that was fine. I was doing really well, and then somebody invited me out to go smoke. Not cigarettes, you know, smoke, smoke. Marijuana. But all I'm saying that to you guys over the thing. But regardless, I had never done all three in one night. And, um, <laughs> as of late, whenever I take the legs up from my hands, shake horribly. My hands, my knees, my feet. Awful, awful shaking. And uh, it's really unfun un unfortunate and very uncomfortable. And, um... The alcohol and the marijuana did not... really help with the shaking. And I was standing getting ready for bed next to Dee Dee, who was brushing her teeth at my roommate's sink. And I couldn't grip a toothbrush, and I panicked. I freaked out. So we're going to talk about mistakes. And I have four things to talk about with mistakes, and the first is that you're going to make them. Um, you're not the only one who's ever going to make a mistake in your entire life, but it's the only thing you can own. It's all yours. Your mistake. I'm sorry about your luck. I love you anyways. I love you because of. Two, you are not, under any circumstances, required to find your way out of it on your own. You get yourself into that mess, but we'll pull you out. Um, you're going to make a mistake, and it's going to be really, really hard, and you're going to think that you've dug yourself into a pit, and that there's no hand up and no hand out, but we're right here. Mistakes happen. You're a person. It's okay. As long as you learn from it, you're fine. Three, if the people around you change the way they view you after one night of 
heavy drinking and pot smoking because you want to test the boundaries of your life, don't keep them. Get rid of them. And don't second guess what they say about you. That's important too. If they don't change the way they think, don't think they have. You know, if if they say this changes nothing, or you you're a person, you're allowed to be weak on occasion because that's what they do. They say these things to me because I don't allow myself to feel this way. Believe them. Let them hold you. Let them take your trembling hands in their steady ones and tell you that you're okay. Climb into bed. That's the most important thing. When you don't know what else to do, when you don't think it can get any worse, get just get in bed. Get in bed. Your life will be infinitely easier. Go to bed, sleep it off. Everything's a lot less daunting on a, when you're well rested. Sleep next to someone that night if you can help out. You'll feel better in the morning. Um, four. <sighs> Understand that it's gonna happen. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> I'm sorry. But number four is do not wallow in what you did. Address the issue. Fix the problem. You're all very smart kids. Address the issue. And if you are too young or you don't understand or you don't know, call someone who does. Jocelyn and I have lived a while. We've been around for a little bit and we kind of got a handle on things. So just call us. We'll help you. But understand that you don't get to freak out about this. You don't get to self-pity. You don't get to feel like you um, deserve to lay in your bed and wallow. Because you don't. You deserve so much better. Because you're my person and I love you. And you deserve the best. So, remember, you know, we all make mistakes. It happens. You're a person. I love you. You're imperfect. So am I. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the human race. Glad I found you. You're, um... You're important. So, um, I'll be home on Friday, you guys. I love you. And I miss you. I'll see you so, so soon. Bye.